Yeah, we got C. Cool, cool, cool. Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Idle Games tutorial video. This is episode 30. Today we're going to be doing letter notation. So how this is going to work is that, for example, we have 1000. It's going to be 1.00A. <clears throat> Simple as that. If we have 10,000, it's going to be 10A. Okay? 100,000, 100A. And then <clears throat> a million will be 1B. I don't like doing the KMBT Q notation just because it'll be inconsistent with this because then we'll have to end up like adventure communists where they do KMBT. I think it's, yeah, I think they, yeah, they have T and then they have AA, BB. It's because of the, you know, we're using KMB already. So it kind of screws everything up. So I like to be consistent. So we're going to do it that way. Okay. So let's load up our methods. Also, I'd like to give you a warning. I am kind of going off a script I have on the side because this is really complex. Way more complex than you think. Because how this works is that we're going completely based off of an ASCII chart. That's basically how we get the letters. So we convert uh, a number into a letter. No, that's not the link I wanted. So here we have this ASCII table right here. And then, uh, let's see. So yeah. Where? I don't want to download this. I never said I wanted to download this. Okay. So you see we have zero for like all this good stuff. So 48 is zero, 49 is one, 81 is capital Q, 113 is lowercase q. So we are going from 97 to 122. And we're kind of just looping it that way. And we do that by doing a modulus. Okay. So I do this on the side here. It's really complicated, but... They basically this supports up to, um, so basically this goes up to E six thousand eighty seven I believe. Hopefully that's correct. If not, then I don't know where my math's coming from. But it should support up to E six thousand eighty seven, which is plenty, plenty. Okay, so let's start this. So it's gonna be in our notation method. It's gonna be a little more complex than before. Okay, so there's two things we need to look for. We need to look for our exponent for normal scientific notation and our um, engineering notation. So we will have exponent, and honestly, we can calculate these up here. So mm, let's just <clears throat> let's just bring this down here. Um, so we're gonna set exponent equal to. So this is gonna be scientific notation, and then we're gonna do engineering notation right here. Eng and that's this right here. So we already have our stuff right, some of our stuff ready. Also, don't forget the, the return. Actually, we'll get there. Okay, so now we need to calculate our first letter. So we're going to call this var letter 1. Okay, and we're going to set this equal to, and we're going to two string this at the end. Okay, so now we do, we're going to cast this as a char. Actually, I'll do that at the end. I want to kind of explain through this. So, <laughs> this is, it's just all written out here. I'm like, uh, how am I to remember this? So, it's math.floor. And I, I, it took me so long to actually make this. I could not find this online. I had to do this all myself. Um, so, this is uh, the eng notator exponent. Two double. And honestly, since we fixed the two double issue, we can just cast it as a double instead. Okay. And then we do minus 3 times 26, and that's how many letters are in the alphabet. And we divide this by 3 times 23, because we want this to happen every 3 decimals. And then we do mod 26, so it resets between the letters. And that's plus 97, because we want to start at 97, uh, where is it, where is it, right here. We want to start at 97. And yeah, that's, uh, oh, that's not it yet. Okay. We could convert this, but we need to convert it to a char, a char first because we're getting an ASCII number, and this would basically just convert a number into a string. We don't want to do that. So we just can do it like this. We put the parentheses around the entire thing. We cast this inner math equation here, and we uh, it's as a char, and then we grab this whole thing, convert it back to a string, and we have our first letter. Okay, so now we want to calculate a second letter only if it need, only if it's needed. So we just do we have an if statement, and we can do if engineering notation dot or again we can cast the double okay <clears throat> divide by three is greater than 
27 greater or equal than 27. I could have just done scientific uh, scientific notation. Eh, that's okay. Uh, no, that would work because this is yeah. Never mind. I ignore what I'm saying. Okay, now we're gonna ca we're gonna calculate another letter. And honestly, I don't think we're gonna need a third letter. I didn't even do it here, and I don't even use letter in my game because I don't think any of my players use it because it's kind of weird. <laughs> but we do the same thing right here. Okay. Except it's a little more complex. So. Okay, so instead of subtract by three, oh, okay, I messed up something right here. <clears throat> okay, so this is the actually this is actually the calculation for letter two. This is the calculation for letter one. My mistake. And it looks like I have one too many <clears throat> parentheses. Uh, we can get rid of this. Cool. This is the right one for down here, okay? This one is just reduced by quite a bit. Okay, so this is calculating the second letter. This is calculating the first letter. So now, what we do is we return our x, we divide it by big double dot pow times 10 engineering <coughs> Oh, so one thing, I'm looking back at this, and I forgot, this is actually why we need the scientific, is that we actually do it here. Okay. So, we take, we do floor, yeah, okay. This is just, this basically just reduces some of this work that we have to do. So, we take our scientific notation right here, we divide it by three. Okay. Um... And yeah, we don't need abs. I don't actually. I think we do. I'm just gonna keep it anyways. Okay. So that's what engineering is. This. Okay. This kind of just makes things a little smaller. Um. Okay. So then we divide this by. Uh. Yeah. Two stream. We're gonna two stream this. So we do x divided by big double pow. This right here. We're getting our exponent here. Or right, this is our mantisa. Two string. And then our digits, which is Y. And then we add letter 2 and letter 1. Oh, yeah, this is just PAL. For my case, because I'm using big doubles. And I simplified it earlier. People still kind of get confused by that. Okay, so let's see. Why does this work? Okay, so for example... Let's say our mantis says 3.55, okay? And it's, uh, this, we're going to do scientific for this one. Actually, you know what, let's do 3.55a, okay? Which, basically, this is 3,550, okay? So how do we get this? So we divide it by the engineering, which is 3. So, uh, nope, it's 10 to the power of 3. 10 to the power of 3, okay? That's our engineering notation. It doesn't look like it's going to work. Oh, yeah. Duh. And here, we should get 3.55. Yep, there we go. So that's how that works right here. That's basically what we're doing right here. And then, we up, and then we're adding the letters instead of the exponents. All right, so now outside of this, we need to do. We need to check if this number is even greater than 1,000 anyways. So we do x greater than 1,000. If it is, then we're going to return this exact same thing, but just with letter 1. Okay? Because we don't need letter 2. That happens in here, if it's even true. Okay? And now, last but not least, if it's not true, then we're just going to return number or our number, which is an x, and then we're going to do a two string, and we have our digits, which is y. And that's it. Okay. Also, this is y. This is y, too. Cool. So we have our notation method for all three of them. Let's give it a test. I mean, again, it may look weird at first. But this is why it's not a good notation at all in the first place. This is kind of just like a, a bonus tutorial, I guess. Okay, so we have our sign, we have our engineer right now. So this should show up as A instead. Let's check it out. So let's go to our settings. We letter notation back. All right, so now it's 100 A. Let's reset. Okay, so we're approaching a thousand. So now it should be one A. Cool. So the thing that we're having issues with is that it's not showing the decimals. Why is that? 
Okay, well, I'm just gonna put F2 in here. I don't know what I did, but I don't want I don't want one decimal, so I'm just gonna put it like that. Ah, bruh! Ah, I hate Unity so much. This better work, or else I'm gonna be mad at Unity. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Yeah, sometimes when you get these errors that nothing happens, you just gotta reload your game. Okay, so we go. We have our decimals. I guess I had two string. I don't, I don't even know what happened there. So this is 3,750 right now. So let's get things started. Okay, so now we should get to, okay, so we're gonna speed things up. So let's go to our game manager. So there should be 10. Yep, cool. All right, so this E4, E5, E6, oh, E6, E7, E8, E9. Ah, oh, it's skipping letters, that's not good. Okay, we're having, okay, so. What are we doing wrong? We're skipping letters already. Okay, I see the issue. We're not dividing by three here, still. Okay, so we just do divide by three. And we add another parentheses right here. Okay, so, oh, that's not, it's redundant, okay. So when we divide by three, we're skip. so when we're not dividing by three, we're skipping three every three letter or letters, right? So now, because A to D, that's a three letter jump, right? So now this, so this is G, this should be C once we reload this. All about trial and error. Okay. This should work. Yeah, we got C. Cool, cool, cool. So now any text you use, even if you go to planets, you'll see this notation here, right? That's the really cool thing about the settings, is that every single text that uses a notation in the first place will be replaced with this. If we go back to scientific notation, we got scientific. If we want letter notation, we got letter notation. We go back to planets. Like, oh, I don't like this. Let's go to scientific or engineering notation. There we go. It's E9. We have regular letter notation. Uh, scientific notation. Yeah. I okay. I don't know why it's not showing up. I think I just accidentally changed it. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on the notifications, and comment your suggestions below. I'll be accepting any I need to post more often. I've been kind of inactive lately because I've been full rush mode on crypto clickers because I'm working on something big. Alright, anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.